um, okay, this one, I'll try this one, this, yeah. okay, uh, hold on, uh, I could get lucky though, you know what I mean, uh, Hold on, I had this up the entire time, uh... Hmm. Let's go with this for now. Mr. Fox, leave it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, that actually went better than expected. Oh shit, holy shit. <laughs> it's fucking that was fucking useless. Okay. Uh is there Yeah, um Yeah, uh let's can I unequip this? Shit, my god mode is gone. Uh... Is there... There has to be, like, I don't wanna... Hmm... There's no way for me to hit him. Yeah. 
Do I have it in me for one more try? I... I need to hit him at least once. This might be it. Uh, yeah, because I can just... As long as this is equipped, I don't really need to... Hold on. Um... This is up. Yeah, no, this is down. These are left and right. So, yeah. Okay. Mr. Fox! I do. I suspect you've stashed some gr All things considered, I probably mastered that. Well, you should be low on ammo by No, I Just need to That's garbage. first two phases I, I i've yeah i've been a, i i could deal with the first two phases right yeah shit okay yeah i think there's nothing else here can Mike help me out? Wait, hold on. Let's. Hey, Jesse here. 
Over. Nothing, uh... Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Oh, that's it? Alright. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, uh, I left the kernel up there. I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna give it one more try. Uh, hold on. You're supposed to be equipped. Mr. Yeah, I know. I know, General. What kind of douche, man? There we go. I do. Oh, that's, yeah, that's four shots. Okay, on a or slow moving. Oh, you should be low on ammo by now. No, I, 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 I am. I'm not. What the fuck? No, what the hell? Okay, my can. I. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, a little too far. How do I get past this? Okay, this, yeah, this, I, two, three, okay, let me just top off on health and before engaging with them. Okay. Okay, all right, hold on. It's gonna... Shit. Okay. No. No, it's gonna be my health against his health now. Oh, thank fucking God. <laughs> oh, shit. I have uh, underestimated you, Mr. Fox. You fuck you. Boss defeated. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> no. Okay, I was just like right about there to. I was just almost there. I was gonna quit. I really was. What are you waiting for? Finish me. Dying without paying for your crimes? No way. 
I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox, how are you going to take me if you can't move? What? Oh, that's cheap. You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die. Just like all of my other subordinates, they consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. By the way, thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. See you never, General X. All right, there you go. Are you all right, son? All right. Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Come on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. Holy shit, all right, yeah. <laughs> What? How did... How did the Colonel get... Killed? Not. Colonel Harris and I went to the helicopter. Alright. A few minutes later, when I regained my motor skills, we took off. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Hand it to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Looks like we so can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Sergeant? What does the report say? And the physiological study confirms that the corpse with identification C4423 measures three inches taller than Colonel Alan Harris, disproving his identity. What? Then he's not the Colonel. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until it stretched him three inches? That would be ridiculous. He's not Colonel Harris. I never said he was. You what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? Hold on, How that's a huge-ass plot hole. <laughs> enough games, Mr. Fox, enough. We'll find out who you are, and then we'll execute you. What now? What the hell is happening in here? Oh, holy shit. Colonel in the room, salute. That is. Colonel Harris, you, you're alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? He's a civilian who was in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Oh my god, the entire He's thing was real. He's also the man that not only saved my life and freed me from the ex-army <laughs> base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho. That will be essential in stopping the ex-army. For goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. Release him immediately. Holy shit. <laughs> y yes, sir. Did you tell them your heroic feat, Fox? I was at when we entered the helicopter, Colonel. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. But fuck, I don't know who he is. They say he has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you remember? So why was he in the corpse? Why was he in the helicopter then? See you never, General X. Oh, well, yeah. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, I retrieved General X's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. That bastard was heavy. In the air, you know what happened. Hurry up, Fox. They're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. This piece of junk has levers and... This is another level. Everywhere. This is another don't level. don't panic. 
I think we'll be able to reach allied territory before they catch up. This is another level. Bad All right, let's go. It. Let's go. Charlie Alpha Charlie Alpha 5443A do you copy? Kaka. <laughs> Damn it. This radio isn't working. Fucking piece of shit. Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Don't worry. Son, with no radio, when this fully armed piece of Soviet junk pings their radar, the first thing they're gonna do when we don't answer is take us down. Fuck. So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we turn around? Affirmative. We're between a rock and a hard place. We'll abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. I'm gonna search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there. There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the Allies. Are you insane, Colonel? They won't believe me. And you don't know how to pilot this junk. I'm dead to them anyway. You're young. You have your life ahead of you, son. Take this ring. Show it to them. They'll believe you. Fuck, it reeks of shit. Well, that's because those asshole bastards were going to snatch it as they put their hands on me. So I hid it in the only safe place I had left. My ass. Come on, son, put on the parachute. Are you fucking Carl, kidding me? You need to jump and tell them everything yourself. We argued about who had to <laughs> jump, and I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, son. We are running out of time. Are you serious? For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. Uh, wait. Oh, my controller. Uh, no. <laughs> The next thing I remember was waking up, <laughs> hanging from the parachute a, tangled to a tree. I'm a don't, that was the dumb. owner of a farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. After tending to my wounds and offering me food, he was so kind as to bring me here to the base. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. A few days later, the Army decorated me with two medals. Jesse Fox, for rescuing an MIA military colonel and recovering intelligence on Operation Cherico. I, Colonel Alan Harris of the 5th Battalion, award you a Purple Cross of Civilian Courage. Right. <laughs> that medal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. You're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the National Idiot. Hey. National Idiot? Why? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. As you know, militaries don't get why killing is wrong. Well, at least we agree on that. So, thanks to the documents I found, the Allies could find and sink every related submarine. The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. Everyone was arrested. Robert, the paparazzi, published the story and won a Pulitzer Prize. The two doctors and their two fathers dedicated themselves no, to no, finding a cure for Jesse, cancer using Jesse, this has been done. weapons. <laughs> Wasn't it one doctor? That's oh. what they wanted us to believe. <laughs> the captain of that boat? Retired with my 50 million dollars, but he died of gonorrhea the week after. Mm. Seriously? Nah, but he would have deserved it. I ah, thought so. Do you remember Private Mike, the one I found hammered and whose leave I obtained? Well, he could finally visit his daughter for her birthday. Hello? Oh. Daddy! And I went back to my old life as a smuggler. The end. For a crime you didn't what? commit. Jesse, that's the most incredible story ever told. Oof. Okay, oh so God, that's the crime you did commit. Imagination. You should be a video game writer. You don't believe me. Not a word. Thank you very much, Miss Incredulous. 
Hey, who are those guys? Must be an improvised patrol. Don't say a word if they don't ask you anything. Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. Very well. Let's see. Fuck. You're Jesse Fox. Uh, yeah. That's me. Holy Jesus. I can't believe it. Hey, Jimmy. Who is that guy? Fuck, Mike. He's Fox. The one who rescued Colonel Alan Harris and prevented the nuclear attacks. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I really admire you, Mr. Fox. Thank you. You're a fucking hero. Of course. Thanks, soldier. Here are your passports. Go, drive carefully. She's blushing. <laughs> you okay? You've been very quiet. Ah, uh, yeah, she's moist. Stop. Yeah. What's up? Then it's true. It's all true. Now do you believe me? Kiss me. What? Yeah, yeah. Kiss me now. Do it. I don't know who she is. Let's go. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. You know what? It's pretty good. <laughs> I never thought I'd actually make it. <laughs> but you know, I, I have no idea who that girl is. I probably don't care. But yeah, he was a smuggler this entire time, so that's probably how he got caught. A lot of... I, but that's like a plot hole. I'd still consider that a plot hole, but man, that's... Pretty good. Pretty good at tying everything up, man. Uh, and... And considering like this is like a... I consider this like a Metal Gear parody. It just kind of went and did its own thing. And it did it well. Uh, yeah, fast roll? Yeah, I can. Um, and the whole thing is just like, it's like an epic friend like had a vision here and just went for it. And that's amazing. Uh, I shit. Hold on, I couldn't. I should have scrolled up. Uh. Just to give a shout out to the voice, uh, the voice actors that did all this, especially for Jesse. Uh, strangely enough, I, I, I don't know his name. I know his Twitter handle, which is basically the VA of Jesse Fox. <laughs> so go follow him uh, when you can. Funny dude. Uh, I tried looking for Unepic Friends uh, Twitter, couldn't find it. Uh, but yeah, still like big props to the uh, to everyone here. Yeah, thank you so to you for playing Unmetal, smiley face. Yeah, who's the chick though? That's what I want to know. Who is she? Do we get an after credits hey, sequence? Jimmy. Who the fuck is this Colonel Alan Harris? I don't know. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. And he said if I pretended he rescued the Colonel and prevented nuclear attacks when he drove by, that he'd give me a hundred bucks. You dick. Bucks four sentences. Can you believe it? <laughs> Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. Uh, smooth. It's been the easiest 100 bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just to see. Oh my god, this to. whole thing. Just to get. Oh, wow. <laughs> the whole thing was made up. Yeah, very unmetal of you, Jesse Fox. But with all that, this is your boy. <laughs> Fox Marine. <laughs> oh, damn it. I, 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 it's strange because like every time I'd sign off, I'd have to make the distinction as Fox Marine of, instead of just Fox. So yeah, you follow me on my social media on Facebook and on Twitter. Fucking wild. Thanks to this game for making me stick to my full 
uh, YouTube name instead of Fox. I had to use Fox Marine, which is also very unmetal. And this <laughs> is unmetal by Unepic Fran. And this is your boy Fox Marine. Thank you for joining me on this awesome ride. And I'll see you around. Stay safe and thanks for watching. Yo, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on these links so that I could remind you that this is a warning, not a guarantee.